Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, everybody here. It's so exciting to be here. I have wanted to meet you for so long. Oh, I really same, have. I've been same. such a fan of yours for years and years and years. Who is the real Jonathan Groff? Who <laughs> are you? I think it might be Kristoff, actually. Really? I think it might be. I think it might be Kristoff. Tell me why. <laughs> I love giving hugs. <laughs> I like being in nature. Uh-huh. I can be a little bit of a loner. Okay. I'm uh, very loyal. Great. As a friend. And I think he's really cute. Now, when you're doing like The Matrix, which I watched last night, you're once again this ice king, this anomaly, the I can't get in, but I want in. There's a sexiness, a coldness. How do you attack something like that? The Matrix felt like the total reverse of who I am in real life. The, okay. the character with all the fighting and the kung fu and the sort of brutalistic kind of energy that comes out of that character. I was shocked when I was cast and I felt like, oh wow, this is really something outside of myself. Lana Wachowski, the incredible director of The yes. Matrix. I'm such a fan of hers. So I had faith in her and I just jumped and went into it. But showing up on that first day of fight training and Keanu Reeves is in his jujitsu outfit. Oh my God, so sweating, hot. Sweating, fighting. Like doing all it, yeah, super hot, like crazy I know. hot. It's, I knew it's him. next I, level. It's I next made level. a film with him when I was 11 years old, so I feel like it's just inappropriate to have those feelings about him, but. Not Johnny at all, Reeves. not at all. When you were a kid, you used to play dress up and you had a oh, rich yeah. fantasy life. Look at you there, Peter Pan. Is that Peter you as Peter Pan? Yes. Oh, you're so cute. I was Peter Pan. Oh. I'm sorry, what know, apparatus that, is that? I know, that was our float, the Halloween parade float in my hometown in Strasbourg, PA. Uh, when I was, I think, six years old, I was Peter Pan, and <laughs> my brother was Captain Hook. And so it was just like, yeah. oh, I happen to have one of these things laying yeah. around. <laughs> Let's throw it on it's a you. swing. It's like a, it's, like a, it's like a swing set swing. It's a leather swing. <laughs> Okay, the holidays are right around the corner and I was wondering if I could ask you a final five of some holiday-oriented questions. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the final five holiday edition! <laughs> Mike, you're the best. Graphic. You're the best. Okay, holiday memory that sticks out for you. When my brother went into the garage and my mom had had all of the Christmas presents in her van. Uh. <laughs> and he had left something in the van and he went to go get it. And he saw the presents and my mom freaked out and said, you ruined Christmas. <laughs> he saw all the presents. He had to convince her he didn't really see them. And it was, we, we worked our way through it, but it was, it was jarring. Best gift ever given to you? My mom, again, she gave me, I'm, I'm an avid bike rider, and she gave me this like denim Levi's biking jacket that I still wear that I've had for years. Oh, I love that. Okay, best gift you ever gave. Last year, it was a random gift. My, I have a six-year-old niece, Avelina, and a four-year-old niece, Estelle. It was this cat that like went, it was like meow, and it moved like a robot. And there was this leash attached to it. It was sort of, I thought, this is a silly, stupid gift, but I'll get it for them. Like, they like cats. It was the gift they played with the whole Christmas. Favorite holiday decoration? This one's easy, actually. My, my mom decorates an epic tree every year. 30 years ago, when I was six, I made, you know when you, with markers, you draw, like, colored lights? but they're with paper and markers. Uh -huh. And you string them like they're real lights. Uh -huh. She has them still oh. and still puts them on the tree every year. Favorite holiday tradition? Also an easy one. This is the gingerbread decorating competition that we have every year. And- uh, Does your mom sponsor it? <laughs> <laughs> she makes the gingerbread from of scratch. Of course she does! 
and she shapes the cookies, and then and then we all decorate, and this is the this is the big challenge. I've won the last three years. Oh. Uh, that, yeah. Well. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. I I definitely wanted to meet you because I love you for so many reasons, and one of the things I didn't expect to come out of this piece was now how much I'm in love with your mom. Oh. <laughs> Please he wish her a very happy Christmas for me because. Um, I'm trying to be like her. Your mom is amazing. And so are you, and I love you so much in this Matrix Resurrections, which comes out December 22nd, and it'll be in theaters and HBO Max. And thank you, Jonathan Groff. Thank you so much. Dude.